Yo guys, welcome back to Windows Fixer. And today I've got something really useful to share with you. So first, let me show you inside my control panel. Just click on the Windows search bar, type control panel and open it. From here, go to uninstall a program. Now, if you look closely, you'll see I don't have Armory Crate listed anymore because I've recently removed it from here. But here's the catch. When I open Task Manager by right-clicking the taskbar, you can still spot a bunch of Armory Crate services running in the background. Even though the program is uninstalled from Control Panel, it doesn't mean it's completely gone. And this happens with a lot of software. Most apps come with their own dedicated uninstaller file, sometimes inside their installation folder, sometimes provided separately. The reason is Control Panel Uninstall doesn't always clean out the hidden services or registry hooks. Armory Crate works exactly like that. It has its own uninstaller tool, and without using it, you can't really wipe it out properly. The file is pretty small, around two megabytes, since it's just a removal utility. I've already downloaded it, let me show you, right here. Now, just right click on it and run as administrator. Here's where it gets interesting. A lot of those UWP apps and system services actually sit under the Windows kernel level, and to remove them, you need special permissions. This tool handles that by installing itself into that low-level portion. Then it asks you to restart the PC. So yeah, I'll save this recording and restart real quick. All right, I'm back after the reboot. You can even see my part one recording on the desktop. <laughs> anyway, right after restarting, the Armory Crate uninstaller tool pops up automatically because it hooks into the system before Windows fully loads. Now just click install and let it do its thing. Once it finishes, it will give you two options, restart now or finish. I'm gonna choose finish for now, but if you've got time, I recommend restarting right away to clear out those leftover background services. And that's basically it. This whole tutorial is not just about Armory Crate, but also to make you aware that a lot of programs bring their own uninstallers, and those files are not useless. Many people skip them and only rely on Control Panel, but the cleanest and most reliable way is always to use the official uninstall utility first. Then, if you find leftover folders, just Shift plus delete them manually. So yeah, that's all for today. If this video helped you, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more tutorials. Take care of yourself and your family. See you in the next one.